G'day mate, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included with me, Jelly. Today I'm actually going to cover puffs and some of the advanced ranching techniques for puffs. So, to start things off, puffs actually have four variants. We have a standard puff, the prince puff, the squeaky puff, and the dense puff. Now, there's nothing you can really do to influence which type of puff you get from, or which egg is produced by which puff. Um, it's something that, unfortunately, Clay hasn't get, haven't given us a way to influence. But... Puffs and, and puff princes are basically the same. They will consume polluted oxygen for slime. Um, and puffs in the rooms by themselves will have a higher chance of giving a puff prince egg. Now, once you have puff princes, they will also consume chlorine and oxygen. So you can move them out to a separate stable if you want to have a uh, squeaky puff or a dense puff. Uh, squeaky puffs consume chlorine and excrete, excrete bleach stone. If you remember back to our plant guide, there is one type of plant that does actually require bleach stone, and squeaky puffs are the only way to renew bleach stone inside your base. Lastly, we have the dense puff. Now, the dense puff um, consumes oxygen and excretes oxalite. Oxalite, if you remember, is that starting material we found all around the start of our base to get us up and running. Um, if you have raced all the way up to the rocket um, and you want to launch rockets, uh, there is some rocket components that do require oxalite as the accelerant. Unfortunately, dense puffs are not the way to go for it. Um, honestly, the oxalite refinery is a much, much more efficient way of creating oxalite. Dense puffs are pretty much useless. In my base, they're used for uh, egg cracking experience. Anyway, um, on to the actual uh, ranch itself. So the ranch always has a maximum size of 96 tiles. As you can see here, mine is 96 tiles in size, but I have contained the puffs into this lower section of the base. Uh, because when I have Gossman over here to come and, and convince a puff to come over and, and have a pat and be uh, groomed, I don't want to have him wait for a puff to float up, yeah, float from all the way to the top of the top of the room, all the way back down. I much prefer the shortest travel distance possible. Oh, and this is why I've put in this tiny little water lock here, and that's all it is. It's a very, very small water lock, just to contain, um, just to contain the puffs so they can't pass through. Uh, the easiest way to put in this water lock is literally put down a bottle, bottle, bottle emptier. Uh, dump water onto the ground and put a tile here as well. So once once the water fills up and, and does this this link between one tile and the next, that's the point where you can remove that tile, remove that tile to maintain that water lock between those two tiles, and then instantly put that one straight back. Um, you know, or have the duplicates put that straight back. You don't have to do any of this in creative mode um, because that wouldn't work in, inside a real game. And that'll maintain that water lock between those two tiles and also give you the maximum size the stable can be. Now, as you can see, I actually have six critters in this room, um, but all these guys are actually cramped currently because it also counts the eggs in the room um, as far as the critters are concerned. So I always make sure I put in an auto sweeper. Again, the room is nine tiles top, nine tiles wide, because I want to make sure I have uh, I have a way to, sh to sh I have a way for the auto sweeper to ship out anything in the room. At the moment, we're storing all the slime in the room because the slime also off gases in the room, creating this more polluted oxygen to feed our poor little puffs. Uh, but at the same time, I make sure I ship out all the critter eggs. So any eggs that are laid in the room, I make sure I ship them out. Um, off to wherever they, they need to go um, to make sure I do not get this cramped debuff. So as you can see, they're back to happy already because we're down to actually six in the room, not six and a couple of eggs. Uh, at the same time, I put in a couple of buddy buds. Now, the puffs are very, very quickly bringing this room back to a, a, a vacuum. This did have three kilos of polluted oxygen in the room. I strongly recommend that you put a high pressure gas valve up here and plumb into this room from wherever you happen to have it, any polluted oxygen you can find on the map. Puffs are gonna do a great job of getting rid of that polluted oxygen. Um, you can put down the oxygen, uh, the, the deodorizers to convert it into oxygen, but converting it into polluted oxygen and potentially slime to feed your uh, mushroom farm. Again, there'll be a link up the top right hand corner where we covered plants. It's a good spot to get a almost infinite amount of slime from. These guys, don't produce a lot of slime per uh, cycle. They, uh, where are we? Uh, it doesn't actually tell me. I don't have the numbers in front of me. I apologize. Uh, 
No, it doesn't tell me how. I, I don't have the numbers in front of me for how much slime they produce. But normally, a a, a ranch or two of um, puffs is more than enough to keep about 25 dupes fed on mushrooms forever. Um, at the same time, I actually set up a second conveyor loader inside my base. Um, and this one I... Uh, I use to ship the slime out of my base off to anywhere else I might need it inside my base. So I will bring the slime along and as long as it passes through natural uh, through tiles, that's the important thing. So the conveyor rail, slime will naturally off gas. So each one of these pa packets originally had 20 kilos worth of slime on it. If I go back to the conveyor overlay, we can see these, these ones have 19.9 kilos worth of slime on them. Because they're actually running through tiles, they can't off gas. Whereas these ones out here are down to seven kilos already. These ones actually in the room are down to uh, 10 kilos already because they are naturally off gassing and creating more polluted oxygen. Um, if I just bring up debug mode and I refill the room. Fill. Uh, oh, there we go. It's been refilled. So we're back up to two kilos. At the same time, I make sure I also put in a couple of buddy buds. So if we go to our germ overlay, the buddy buds here keep the keep any slime lung that can get into the room from off gassing because uh, only one germ at a time can occupy one tile. Um, I can make sure that I fill the room with just a couple of buddy bud plants. Um, by all means, if you can fit in a couple of planter boxes down the bottom rather than storage bins to increase the amount of uh, floral scents in the room, that's perfectly fine. But yeah, I make sure that I pop in as many buddy buds as I possibly can to make sure I don't have any slime lung inside the base. At the same time, I also make sure I put in an Atmos suit dock just in case. What are you doing, Gossman? Uh, Hassan? Hassan, what are you doing? All right. Um, at the same time, I also put in the ammo suit dock to make sure that as duplicates walk into the room, they can't actually uh, get any slime lung because they are contained inside my ammo suit. Um, and there we go. There's another egg being shipped out to keep them nice and happy. So yeah, this guy, uh, this uh, conveyor lower, I just go down here to organic and I will ship out slime and make sure that is a higher priority than the storage bins. That way it will, the auto sweeper will pull it out of the storage bin and put it in the conveyor loader if needed and ship that off to wherever my mushroom farm happens to be. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, puffs are a little cute creature, very, very handy for chewing up all the polluted oxygen on your map. As you can see, they've already half the pressure in the last couple of minutes. They will consume all the polluted oxygen you can feed them. With a high pressure vent, you can pump in a lot of gas. Also, at the same time, this room up here is actually a completely different room gas-wise from this room. Um, I could put in mesh tiles to have the, the gases move back and forth. Um, that is something you consider. At the same time, you can just have this room filled with oxygen. Um, this room is, well, this room gas-wise is completely separate from this room. Anyway, that's it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you found this video helpful, click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, by all means, click the subscribe button because next one, we're probably going to cover Slicksters. Anyway, I'm out. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.